What's in a wall? Well, that depends. Generally, the framework of a wall is made up of horizontal pieces called the bottom or sole plate and the top plate. Studs run vertically between them. They're spaced out evenly across the wall, usually 16 inches from the center of one stud to the next. Additional framing and headers are needed for stability around windows and doors. Most often, sheets of drywall are attached to the studs to form the wall surface. Drywall is a layer of chalky gypsum sandwiched between two layers of thick paper. It's screwed in place and the seams are finished with joint compound before painting. In some, usually older homes, you might find plaster walls. Plaster is the consistency of a thick mud and it's spread on the wall, so you'll also find a layer of thin wood strips called lath or even wire mesh behind the plaster to hold it to the wall. Not sure if you have plaster or drywall? Try taking off an air vent or light switch over if you turn off the power. You might be able to see the unfinished edge of the drywall or lath. This trick can help in another way. If you want to hang something on your wall, some wall anchors require that you know the wall depth because they grip the backside of the drywall. You can use this unfinished wall edge to measure the drywall depth. Or you can use an anchor like this stud solver from Easy Anchor that grips right into the drywall. For plaster walls, use a molly bolt. This type of anchor needs to be carefully pre-drilled. It expands behind the wall as you tighten the screw. Be careful not to crack the plaster. Now you'll never look at your walls the same way again.